The recent tuberculosis exposure at Providence Hospital has caused some major concern for parents, obviously. Well, today the Department of Public Health said more babies have been exposed to the disease, but most of the families are refusing treatment. ABC 7's Luke Lydon has new information for us. The number of babies who have been exposed to tuberculosis at Providence Memorial has increased once again. We're at 853. We've added seven more babies, so we're up to 860. Uh, babies that we're interested or, or focusing our attention and having them uh, screened and treated if appropriate. The city's Department of Health announced two more babies have tested positive for tuberculosis. Two more positive babies, one of them a true positive if you will, and the other one had been vaccinated with uh, the TB or BCG vaccination. A total of eight babies have now tested positive for tuberculosis, with five of those eight believed to be false positives due to a vaccine administered outside the United States. Health officials say none of the potentially exposed babies show signs of active TB. One big surprise today, the Department of Health says nearly all the parents of the affected babies are refusing the treatment. Just 18 families have accepted the precautionary medications, which require rigorous scheduling and can be hard on the infant's liver. More than 90% of the affected families have been contacted. We're doing a little better. We're up to 92% of those uh, have been contacted. The Department of Health says the numbers may continue to fluctuate as their investigation continues. Luke Lydon, ABC7. And the Department of Health is still reaching out to the re remaining 65 parents who have not yet been contacted. And of those 65, our 11 are out of the county. By the way, Providence Hospital was notified by the state of Texas this week that it no longer poses an immediate jeopardy to patient health and safety, but that it's not out of the compliance with three Medicare standards, including infection control. Providence has until December to be fully compliant with no further extensions or it will lose Medicare funding.